All right, today's video, we're getting ready to skin this door. We're gonna take the outer shell that we originally had that was on the driver's side panel that we took out of the, uh, the donor car in the junkyard. Uh, we've already skinned it off of the jam. We're gonna turn around and put it on here. So let me take you over here and I'll show you what we have to do. Basically our process, we have this outer shell that we need to be able to put underneath here on this door. So I've got the uh, other door that we're creating right here. I've jigged it up. Again, it's got some two by fours holding it in place. Our first step is we need to cut out this gas door because we're obviously not gonna need it with this door because we're gonna relocate the gas tank to the bed. All right, so I cut that out, and I, I stayed pretty close to the line, I mean, as close as I could, but that's almost a perfect square. All right, so now that's our next step. I'm gonna flip it over and kind of fit it into place. All right, guys, we're making some progress. Uh, things are starting to come together. I'm gonna show you kind of a little clip here of what's happening. We've just got it clamped together. This is the skin that we have uh, pulled off of the junk car. This is what we got. It's not completely done, but now we have enough skin to, to roll over back in here and do a couple pinch welds. We've created those gussets. Now we're gonna also have to reinforce this, but I don't wanna do that until I get everything skinned. So we've got it all set up, kind of set in place. This one's clamped down. We have enough here to roll over into here, but we still have to build a section into here. I thought that we were gonna build this section first, you know, frame all that in, then frame all this in, but I thought it was a better idea to get the skin laid into place because we just don't know uh, what, are, what we're up against. If we weld all this into place, then this is all real rigid. Then, we, you know, if this skin doesn't fit just right, right now I have a little bit of flexibility. Let me pull these vice grips off, I'll show you. Right now I can actually, I can flex this, even with the gussets, I can still move it quite a bit. So I can lay it flat against this, this piece and I still have a little bit of room. But if we had welded this in first and welded in these flush panels, this would be really strong. So we wouldn't be able to lock that down. So that's kind of what we're thinking about doing right now is just, I'm gonna put this vice kit back on. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of fit everything into place, get it trimmed. We're gonna cut this edge. I think I'll do that tonight. I'll, I'll double tape and then I'll cut this edge. Uh, I'll show you how to do that on tonight's video. And then tomorrow we'll come in and we'll wrap this skin and create building this, or finish building the, the edges. Now I'm gonna reinforce and redo this whole edge. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a whole piece of metal that comes from here all the way down to here that mimics the door on the passenger side. Because when these doors are suicide and they're both opened up, you know, one's opened up this way, one's opened up this way, we want that, that edge to look good. Let me show you on the picture. I found this the other night on a website. And you can see this outer edge right here where it's suicided. We want to make sure that that edge looks really, really good. The back hinge doesn't really matter too much because it, it won't be that noticeable. And a lot of that we're going to have to weld in as we put the hinges in. But this, we want these to both be symmetrical. So when we finish building this off, I want this edge to match that edge right there. But just kind of looking at the time, I think this is probably it for tonight's video. I try to keep these videos short. I mean, I've got, I think I've got 17 videos in my edit box that haven't been edited yet. I try to keep the videos down and still make it informational for you. But um, so we'll probably finish the rest of this on tomorrow's video. Um, I record for about four or five hours. I, I do my videos. I edit. I see what I need to do. Um, but then when I notice that the camera's up to about 10 minutes, I realize that you know, that's just way too long. So this will probably be it for tonight. We'll come back on tomorrow's video and show you the rest of it.